Hi Libra and welcome to your December reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Midheaven, and or Venus. However, if you're cross-watching or you just happen to click this video out of curiosity, there's a reason you were brought to my channel. Um, I welcome and embrace you with open arms and I hope you hear all that you need at this time. Definitely do subscribe as well before you go. But um, let's jump right into your reading. Sun's going down. And so I'm on a race against time right now. Coming into the first week of December for you guys, what came up was the Seven of Coins, followed by the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Okay. Coming into the second and third week of December, you have the Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Cups and the King of Coins. I do also want to mention that the Knight of Coins wanted to be shown, but I don't know if I'm really going to use this energy or not. We shall see. Okay, but that came out in the row of potential obstacles. Again, you may have already experienced this because energy is fluid, but if not, this can be something internally that you're struggling with come the mid-month, um, if not something that you're going through in your external environment, okay? But by the end of December, what you will feel energetically or what you can do to overcome, at the very least, what came up was the Knight of Wands with the Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands. So that's a nice reduction, progression still, right? And trying a little bit harder and pushing a little bit further, challenging yourself a little bit more. You are exalted in the energy by the end of the month and what it has to offer you being in Sagittarius season or at the very end with the Sagittarian and Capricorn cusp energy. Um, it gives you that push that you need to feel um, the success um, and the validation and the support that you have been striving to have um, for a while now, right, Libra? Because I feel like to some degree you guys have been struggling here, especially with this King of Coins energy that's going to come up for you guys with feeling like you are respected, with feeling like you are an esteemed individual, that you are an influential individual, that you actually have a lot to offer. It's like you feel it, but you don't see it in the external environment to give you that confirmation that what you feel is what is right, you know? Know, that you're not crazy you know that you're not delusional for thinking that you you have that within you you know what I mean so maybe that's where the knight of coins energy also comes in with that but um, up at the top I just want you guys to hold to this energy sevens are all about miracles all about calling on the spiritual realm as well for guidance and um, for protection but this can also just be about like miracles on the work front or on your creative front, like any creative endeavors that you're dealing with, right? Things that you um, have been involved in that are bringing you um, this this happiness, this joy, right? That puts a smile on your face every day, that gives you purpose, that makes you want to sing, you know? I'm seeing a lot of blue, which I also saw in Virgo's reading. So although I'm not seeing the Hermit card, you might be dealing with a Virgo. Um, and they're going through their own emotional upheaval and cleansing as well. And, um, there's some like tug of war energy that they are really fighting up against right now so if you know a virgo maybe reach out you know and you might be the impetus for healing if not just be able to give them um words that lift their spirits at at this time or maybe they do this for you right with a seven of coins energy um but with this eight of cups I'm wondering what happens here. It's like it's not a long-lasting happiness. Or are you faking happy in front of everybody else, but when you're by yourself, you, you really feel more like depressed and more alone? What's going on this month in December with you Libras? I'm definitely seeing like two sides of who you guys are to the public. You know, you want to make it seem like you have it all together. Like you couldn't have like a care in the world however that's not 
the truth because like once everybody leaves from around you you're just left with yourself and your thoughts and your emotions and you're feeling very empty here with this eight of cups if you're not going to be authentic with your emotions, you can't invite in authentic experiences. So that is why the Wheel of Fortune is blocked coming into the second and third week. Also, it can just be, um, what is it called, like an unforeseen circumstance that happens that has pushed you into the Eight of Cups energy or that pushes you from this Eight of Cups into the Knight of Cups energy where it's kind of like you are um, wallowing in self-pity right? Certain events just keep happening that are robbing you, hey, of your um, happiness here. Because the Knight of Cups, when I shuffled and the cards came out, the Knight of Coins was on top of the Knight of Cups. So very literally, it can be somebody robbing you of happiness. But ultimately, this is something that you're giving them the power to do, right because you have to control um, your own emotional state and well-being you can't allow for outer external circumstances to change how you feel about yourself or just within um, it can't affect your your day-to-day -day life right you can't allow it to keep you in this position here I don't know it's just it's weird who is this this can be a male I'm seeing nothing but males in all of these cards so this is your own energy your own natural propensity or this is um, an elder male in your external environment paternal figure legal guardian of some sort somebody that you may have looked up to because if I didn't tell you at the bottom of the deck you guys have the king of cups energy that is here so yeah coming into the end of the month you guys have the nine of wands with the eight of wands and the six of wands so once you figure out what this funky energy is from the middle of the month and you stop sacrificing so much of yourself and you stop asking for permission from other people to be your authentic self, right? Because the six can talk about needing to seek validation. You don't need anybody's approval, okay? You don't need the, the blue check by your name to be valid, right? Nobody needs to verify who you are. Having a blue check doesn't determine whether or not you are an actual successful, actualized being that people actually like. If you guys are really um, on social media, I feel like you need to take a break from social media um, and the illusions of the happiness that other people are living in, supposedly, right? Of all the success these people continue to post they only post their accomplishments maybe this is something that you only do and you need to stop doing that let them see the sad parts of who you are maybe right instead of just always trying to make it again seem like you have it all figured it out did that make sense that you have it all figured out that you have everything together you know allow people to see you when you're not at your best, when you don't feel your best, so that they can more easily relate to you without, again, you wallowing in self-pity and without playing into victimhood, just letting people know because there's a lack of that on social platforms that, hey, like, you struggle to get up certain days and like why that is and what is on your mind or what weighs heavily on your heart that makes it so hard for you to want to live in your purpose day to day or the days that you fall short if you know that you are with these cups energy um, a spiritual being but you don't necessarily practice what it is that you preach all the times that you tell people to dedicate more time to their spirituality that you say that you love God so much but when the cameras are off or when you're done posting you go back and you feed into um, worldly desires and things that don't necessarily matter that are taking up more of your time you know what I'm saying like show them that and how you allow yourself to get back on track here with this knight of wands eight of wands and six of wands energy right show people 
how to rise above here with the nine of wands when obstacles come against you the trials and tribulations you know you can do it from a different angle and be more uh i don't want to say entertaining necessarily but it will set you apart it definitely will and i'm definitely getting that with the eight of wands because you see how it's like everything is going every which way so by being intentional but sincere and genuine with the angle that you shoot from as far as being able to express who you are here with these cups and coins energy right um the artistic side of who you are or just again the the real you behind closed doors right you can see success in doing that but only when you get real with who you are maybe you need to take a moment to figure you out who are you right getting to the heart of that with this seven of coins energy who am i more than what i show to the world like what am i am i living up to my highest potential so just ask yourself those types of questions ask yourself are you improving have you seen improvement in the work that you're doing if there's been some stagnancy you haven't seen a lot of growth here with the king of coins and the knight of coins um, is it time to change what you've been doing again is it time to let it go you know certain things grow that just turn out to be duds you know turns out to be weeds and so it's going to kill everything else that you've tried to plant in your life if you don't get rid of it so are these behaviors potentially that you might need to release right that you might need to replant you know so just think about that throughout the month of december but you guys will surely figure it out by the end of the month but at the very least if nothing else you will come back into a state of bliss and happiness um and what is this called like you'll be more vibrant and attractive by the end of the month again you will be more of the center of attention at the end of the month for what reason i'm not sure because there's free will in this so you can take what i'm saying as a suggestion and implement it and do something productive with it or you can just uh be reckless with the energy and it take you on a whole nother path right again it's really up to you what you do with it but the energy is here for you guys okay as far as your chakras are concerned um get your third eye and crown into alignment and i'm seeing a lot of blue so just be careful with the throat chakra okay careful with the throat chakra and also work on your root chakra because i'm not seeing too much red so get those into balance if what i said did resonate definitely give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family subscribe for more and if you are needing more clarification on some of the things i spoke of like a little bit resonated but um there's still some things that you know you're unclear of or unsure of that you want more insight on i'm more than happy to help you you can book a private reading with me just hit me up in my email and i will get back to you um within 24 hours the latest okay so that's what i have for you guys until the mid-monthlies do take do take care of yourself and your heart until then